Hello, everyone. I pray that you are blessed, that things are going very well. I pray that you are doing very well in this journey on to God. Let me say something to you. Have you ever spoken to someone or text someone to where it seemed like a different person was speaking or a different person was texting? If you go to the New Testament, I believe it is in Mark chapter 8. I have to look. Peter was trying to advise Jesus to not do something. But if I remember correctly, Jesus rebuked Satan not so much Peter, but Satan. And some people may say, well, I think Jesus was calling Peter Satan. No, I believe Peter was being influenced by Satan to say some things. And Jesus rebuked Satan. For instance, if, take me and your mother. You may know how your mother speak. You may know how she acts. Now, the way I speak and act, my personality, may be very, 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 very different from your mother's. So, if your mother began acting like me, you may think like, wait a minute, something is up. Like, why? Like, this is not really how my mom acts. Like, you will know something is going on. For instance, I spoke to someone, was it by text or was it by words? I spoke to someone, some things, not everything, but I believe some things that person told me, I think I had the sense like something is off something is as if i forget if it was through text or call i believe i was thinking something is off like this is not what this person like as if it was another personality. Please listen to what I am saying. You may say, Kevin, you are crazy. You are nuts. You are insane. You are mental. You need to be on those pills. No, I don't. No, I don't. If Satan can influence Peter to say those things in the scripture. Demons can't use people to speak through them to you? I am trying to tell you. I believe I was thinking like, what is this person saying? Some things, not everything that person said, but 
I think some things. Like, what is this person? I'm like, do this person know what they are saying? Maybe not. Maybe that person thinks nothing is influencing them to say what they just said to me. Some of those things. We have to be careful on what we choose to receive from people. For instance, a person may say to you, and that person may think they have good intentions. They may say to you, hey, you know, your mother got cancer and died. Your father got, your mother got received cancer and died. Your father received cancer and died. So you are going to receive cancer and die too. What do you call that? Isn't it, or wouldn't you expect, or what is the probability that it is a demon influencing that person to say that to you? Why would you even say that to a person? Well, you know, it's, it is the thing that actually happened. So I assume that person is going to die of cancer too. Don't say that. Aren't you in an ignorant way? Aren't you cursing that person? Aren't you? Aren't you? Well, a person may say to you as well, you know, since you are going through all these hard times, things will never go right in your life. And you may think that person is speaking with a good heart and just seeing things for what they are. No, I believe a demon is using that person to speak in your life. Rebuke that. And you may say, Kevin, should I rebuke it in that person's face? <sighs> that probably would not be bad. Maybe. With me, I am more passive. Now, I may rebuke people in their face, but I may rebuke a person when I, I may rebuke what a person said in my mind or when I am alone or something to where it won't cause conflict at that period of time, if that makes any sense. Because sometimes people may take things the wrong way, which I guess it is up to you. <laughs> Maybe you should rebuke what that person said. I remember some years ago, I don't remember a lot of it, but I think a person was saying some things to me that like really negative things. And I rebuked that person in their face, which may not have been good. I don't really know. But that person was, I think, really being used by a demon. Huh. So I believe that person was really being used by a demon. So stop seeing talk as like a regular thing, as if it is insignificant, like it doesn't have like a spiritual consequence to it. I believe it does. Not saying that I always speak in the right way all the time. I am not saying that. There are things I have to change with what I say as well. 
sometimes, you know, I say things I should not. But we have to be careful what people speak in our life or what people advise us on. Because what if a demon is influencing a person to advise you on stuff that is demonic for you to do, say, or whatever like that? Please listen to what I am saying. We have to be on guard. We need our shields up, figuratively speaking. We need to be on guard. Don't let people say just anything to you. You may fail every day, but don't let a person say, man, you are going to fail for the rest of your life. No, I rebuke you right now in the name of Jesus. That is not going to happen. I may be going through a hard time now, but I will, I will. Doesn't matter if you have evidence of it. Doesn't matter if every day has been bad for you. I will succeed always. Speak in faith. In the name of Jesus. Let me stop here. May God bless you.